against Notre Dame. They won the key faceoffs down the stretch. And Shockey wins the opener for the Terps. A Maryland team that played a Big Ten only schedule until the NCAA tournament. Dispatched of Vermont in round one. Rallied from three goals down in the fourth quarter to beat Notre Dame in South Bend in the quarterfinals. An undefeated team. Jared Bernhardt won in red. Don't take your eyes off of him. Bubba Fairman now on the invert. Fairman shot saved by Mike Adler. A transfer from St. Jason's of this midfield group in terms of the continuity and running the same lines throughout the course of the season really didn't exist. The blue in the middle is the missing piece. Today, they can solve it. That equates to your workouts, Kark. A lot of upper body, a lot of calves, not much core in the middle. Adler retreats to the cage. Bernhardt top side and the score. One in red has been unstoppable. Terps do a terrific job matching feet on the ride, okay? That is finding bodies basically in, in a zone coverage and covering. JT Giles Harris, he's forced to throw that ball to a man who's covered. It gets away from him at the other end. Unleash the rocket ship. First step, too fast, top side. That's where he's been dominating matchups. Rarely does he have to use his rollback because he gets his feet. Somehow lunges and puts his stick back in front of the lacrosse ball. Just never give up, never give up. Deal with the fakes. Williams again finds the back of the net. Dyson Williams was Duke's leading goal scorer in the short of the 2020 season. He's had to take a lesser role with the influx of talent. He ties it at one, but it starts with Adler. Point blank range. Kyle Long pings the post. Blue Devils forks up to catch a break. Watch this. Doesn't get any better than that. Unbelievable. Adler gives him the juice. Williams does what he does so well, closes the deal. We got another one in East Hartford, all tied up. Smith, those guys have the green light. They can run end to end. Bubba Fairman out of Sandy, Utah. How long? Wisnowski should the Mayo play catch. Bernhardt, he's got two. 65 goals now for Jared Bernhardt. Blue Devils have an opportunity. O'Neal has got a three on two. Pass off the mark and grill. Scoops it up at the other end. One thing that we've just just loved about Jared Bernhardt's game this year. Here comes DeMeo. From Maryland to the challenge this week, recovery. John Tillman said it took his team three, four days to recover after the showdown with Notre Dame. Good look here by DeMeo. Tony time. There's the ball movement. That's hot potato lacrosse's version. Everyone knows there's one more pass to be had. And Anthony DeMeo, game-winning goal in overtime against Notre Dame out in South Bend on the road. Dug deep. This time sets his feet and finds that far pipe on Adler. The exclamation point 
is an eight-yard shot with no defender in your face. The ISO of Adler shows he has no chance. The reflex is just not that quick. And we had a, uh, a strong debate on the spelling of Foxborough, Massachusetts. Ends in an O or a O-U-G-H? According to Jess, our content associate, has done a fantastic job. O-R-O. O-R-O. O-R-O-U-G-H. Brennan O'Neill on the doorstep cashes in. Goal is easier to spell. G-O-A-L. It's 3-2. Tillman looking at the autopsy report from this goal. The damage report says loose ball on the ground, over pursued by a bunch of red jerseys. O'Neill is a horse. He's a freshman. 6'2 or 6'3. Look at those legs. 230 pounds. Evan at the other end. New 80 second to shot clock. Bernhardt, a hat trick for Bernhardt. He's got three of the four Maryland goals. And he now has more goals in an NCAA tournament than any other Terrapin in school history. 14 goals in this tournament, one more than the 13 by Mark Douglas back in 1991. Be the best. It's been a shooting clinic, a shooting gallery. They're getting all the looks that they want. He's done it off the dodge, Quinn. He's done it in the inside game. And on his third of the half, he shows you some plant rip making. You've got the different parts coming in from the transfer portal. You've got Jared Bernhardt. In a year where it's really tough to form relationships. Somehow he's found a way to get it done. Robertson to Lowry. Clark, what's wrong with this Duke offense right now? They're not finding their groove in terms of initiating. The Dodgers, right? Who is the guy that's going to break their man down? Well, right there. How about Sowers? 23. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blink. Wow. A uh, highlight like reel, him. individual effort, and John Tillman's reaction, yeah. Hey, sometimes there's no defense for greatness. There's only one other player in college lacrosse history that I've seen with the quickness, the electric feet, like Michael Sowers. That's Mikey Powell, the great Syracuse four-time All-American and National Attackman of the Year for fourth. Wisnowski is to Bernhardt. Three goals today. Bernhardt, the all-time leading scorer at Maryland. Goals and points. Fairman. Over to Kyle Long. DeMeo has it cut in this basket. You can set that to music. Poetry in motion for Maryland. This offense has been humming all season. Long. Down the wing was Nowskis, who had cut left-handed across the middle of the formation. Continues his run behind the net and then in front. The defender's allowed in the crease, but for some reason decides to trail. Bernhardt's got his man hung. Adler presses out. They've got the matchup. Bernhardt against the shorty. Help coming. Bernhardt plays it up top. Perfection. Griffin Brown, the Colgate transfer. Maryland stopped turning the ball over. And since they've done that, they've had their way with this defense. What you mentioned, pack it in, pack it in. Griffin Brown is the stretch shooter. A couple of years ago, up in the Carrier Dome when he was playing for Colgate, four goals, spraying from downtown. 
when you have the attention of Bernhardt behind, you see all those white jerseys? If someone can find that passing lane, you will have time to set your feet, let it rip, and get it by Adler. Goal cam tells this. Going against a speed guy like Jared Bernhardt, you want your top dog to be 100%. Shockey wins the faceoff. Accelerates into the attack box. Shoots a goal! And the Maryland bench explodes! Fourth career goal for Justin Shockey. It's three straight for the Turks. Tell you, this big senior's been doing it for a long time. He's part of the hog pen. That's the nickname for the face-off specialist down in Maryland. He's an avid whitewater kayaker. He's a good, good athlete who's evolved his game with the rule change, and he sniffs this one out. You don't give me the respect, I make you pay. Look at the placement, too. Old school overhand, right into the bottom corner. I'll tell you what, coming into this game, no one felt that Maryland had the advantage at the face-off dot with Shockey. Naso. If it is Virginia and Maryland, a rematch of that 2019 controversial quarterfinal. And Virginia's shot that hit the post was counted as a goal. Fairman. Mouskis' shot looked like it hit somebody in the hands. Virginia and Maryland also met the 2011 National Championship. Bernhardt gets the pick. Feeding the crease, and Doug Bubba Fairman. All Terrapins. Everyone talks about Bernhardt. His dodging ability. The two feeds we've seen, Quint, in this second quarter are next level and they're very different. The prior feed that he had on the Griffin Brown goal went right through the heart of the Duke defense. That one, he just felt the... Puglisi with Lowry, stride for stride. O'Neal did not have an angle. He's a lefty. Left hand free. McNaney to save. And that's been the other factor for Maryland. McNaney's playing his best game of the tourney. Puglisi the other way. It started with the save. And then Roman Puglisi in transition for his 13th career goal. This is an element that makes this sport so riveting. McNaney with a clean stop. Maryland breaks out. Puglisi sniffs it. They disrespect him. He's a Both sides of the field for Maryland right now. The defense is perfect in terms of the support help in the slides. We come up on three and a half to play in this third quarter. It's been all terps. One winner to championship Monday. Holden to the wing, top shelf. Logan Wisnowskis, Stark. You can't leave him open there. That's his sweet spot. They're packing it in. The Duke defense daring a Turk to stretch shoot. Well, if you've watched Logan Wisnaskis long enough, the day he stepped on campus at Maryland, the high wing lefty shooter, if you give him this kind of time, he will pick apart an opposing goalie. Look at the placement on the righty goalie. 45 seconds to go in the quarter. And the Terps will try to tack on. Hey, Six unanswered for Maryland. This one knocked down. Adler tried to recover it. It trickles in. Bernhardt.
scoop and score from inside on the rebound. Watch number one. He's right in the middle of the slot area. Pick it up. Little trash. Quick wrists. Checking in around 35%. You're doing something well. What? 93 points on the season. That ties way off the single season school record. The Big Ten offensive player of the year has been a force that nobody's been able to slow down. Seven straight goals. Dyson Williams ends the long scoring drop for two. It's 11 to 4. The Blue Devils went more than 20 minutes without a goal. The one player for Duke that I think you can consistently force feed and jam it inside is Dyson Williams. He was an attackman as a freshman last year. He was Duke's leading scorer before the season was cut short. Move to midfield. Nakai Montgomery's vision. That has been the biggest growth. Maryland with a play slow here. DeMeo, left hand laser. The step away underneath. Watch the drop step, Quint. DeMeo catches it. Feels the pressure top side. He's a lefty, so he's not going to get that sweep. So what do you do? Drop step and sting it. Look at this. Sound effects sold separately. The level change. The low release. He's playing that first game, no doubt. Oh yeah, you get the scout. You get the scout, you get extra hours, hours you, get extra, yeah. you get an extra meal, you get extra hours of rest. Good Malibur, the freshman. Yeah, there's Malibur, Anish. I think he'll be the guy behind when Bernhardt leaves. Malibur will run the offense at X. Hold it left-handed, the former Hobart statesman came to Maryland for two reasons. To play in the NCAA tournament and to win a national title. They've been a staple in May. Always consistent under John Tillman, his ability to recruit. Guys like Eric Malibur, learn the system, learn from a great like Jared Bernhardt and Holden catches that ball, feels the pressure, and in one motion spins. Maryland's been shooting luxury. The BC Star. For more information on the 2021 Men's and Women's Lacrosse Championships, visit NCAA.com, your home for all 90 NCAA Championships. It'll be a first-time champion. Either way. Jared Bernhardt, the punctuation. The best player in the country. Call it a day. Yes, call it a day is right. Two hundred career goals. He sets the single season points record. He has rewritten the Maryland record book. He has had at least five goals in every NCAA tournament game. Stretch. They fine-tuned ways to play together, to communicate. Maryland moves the ball at hyperspeed. That's one thing that they'll need to do against Jared Bernhardt and the Turks. The other thing, the middle of the field, a question mark for Virginia and their short stick D middies. Could they get transition? Could they get loose balls? Today they did. But Maryland has those guys as well with Roman Puglisi and Alex Smith. So I think there's going to be tremendous unit matchups in this game. One more for Sowers. That's just bookkeeping. 14 to 5. 
a two-time Tawartan finalist. One of the most prolific scores in the history of the game. Tough ending. We get to see him take take his exploits to the pro game where, where he, he will light up the scoreboard and be super fun to watch. For the sixth time under John Tillman, Maryland will play on Memorial Day. A dismantling and demolition of the team everyone thought was the team when the season began. 